As the pharmacy regulator, the PSI works to protect and promote the health, safety and well-being of the public and to make sure that pharmacy services and care are provided safely and to the proper standards. On the public's behalf, we consider and investigate complaints made about pharmacists and pharmacies. This video explains how a complaint can be made to the PSI and what steps we can take after we receive it. If you or someone you care about is unhappy with the service or care received in a pharmacy, you should ask first to speak with the pharmacist in charge. If you feel that this does not resolve the matter and you are concerned about the behaviour, conduct or practice of a pharmacist or the service you received in a pharmacy, you can contact the PSI. We ask that complaints are made to us in writing and you can find a complaint form on our website. Once filled in, this can be sent to us by post or email. It is important to provide us with as much information as possible with your complaint. Tell us your full name, address and telephone number. Information about the circumstances of your complaint and about the pharmacist or pharmacy. If you know it, tell us the name of the pharmacy and the name of the pharmacist you dealt with. Try to be as specific as possible and include supporting information about the matter, such as packaging, prescriptions, receipts or letters. Please also let us know anything you've already done about this issue. If there is someone else who can confirm the matter you describe in your complaint, do tell us their names too. To assist you, we also have a useful guide with more information about making a complaint available on our website. The guide explains all the matters we can and cannot deal with. Once we receive a complaint about a pharmacist or pharmacy, it will be acknowledged to you in writing and more information will be given to you then about the complaint process. The pharmacist or pharmacy involved in the complaint will also be provided with the complaint. They must be given an opportunity to respond to it. All complaints about a pharmacist or pharmacy are screened then by the Preliminary Proceedings Committee. The committee meets regularly to consider all the complaints we receive. The committee includes men and women with a range of experience and different backgrounds. They are pharmacists and non-pharmacists and their focus is on patient and public health and safety. To consider the complaint properly, the committee might ask for more information from you or from the pharmacist or the pharmacy owner involved. When the committee has reviewed this information, it will advise the PSI Council about what steps to take. The committee may decide there is a case for further action and refer your complaint to either a committee of inquiry or for mediation. The committee might also decide that the case is not serious enough to take further action. If the Council of the PSI agrees, the complaints process ends and no further action will be taken on that matter. The complaint process is set out in law. In order to gather all of the evidence needed to make a fair decision, this can take time. But once you've made a complaint, you will be kept informed at all stages. Please remember we cannot accept complaints made over the telephone. But if you have questions, you can contact a PSI case officer. You can email complaints at psi.ie or telephone 01 218 We also have a video that explains what happens if a complaint is referred to an inquiry. You will find it and more information about the complaints process on our website.